Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Soul Survivor by Zachary Ashford. This is from Unnerving. Can't really read that, but you can see it. Uh, and this is part of their Rewind or Die series. As you can see, it's number six. I picked this up after listening to uh, an episode of Ghoulish Podcast with Max Boot III, a host. Uh, Zachary Ashford was on there talking about this, and it sounded really interesting. And because I had just read The Rue, if you watched uh, the video I just posted last Monday, I reviewed The Rue by another Australian author about killer animals in Australia. I figured, what the hell, let's read another one about killer animals in Australia. And so we have this, and thus uh, I'm closing out my mini Creature Feature Week where I've reviewed two Creature Feature books that are both by Australian authors. So anyway, Soul Survivor. Uh, that's actually the name of a reality show. And you've got a bunch of contestants <clears throat> excuse me, that are supposed to, you know, go to an island, do the whole Survivor type thing. Well, the, their plane crashes, and they don't realize that they've crashed on the island that they're supposed to be on. There are hidden cameras everywhere. There is a person that works for the studio who is supposed to monitor the contestants, and um, if any of them straggle off, he's supposed to sort of pick them off and eliminate them from the game. Uh, and, of course, none of them know that there are killer koala bears on the island, and no one <laughs> might survive. That's a horrible sentence. Uh, no one may make it out alive. I don't know. There may not be a sole survivor. Uh, now, first of all, technically, they are not koala bears, uh, but the characters, even though they, they look like koalas a bit, they do have prehensile tails, and they're bigger, I think, than a normal koala. And, of course, they're bloodthirsty. But they're most often called koalas. Uh, when the author was talking about it on the Ghoulish podcast, he kept calling them koalas. So the, And it doesn't that look like a, a crazy koala? So that's what we're going with. We're just It's just easiest to call them koalas. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, this is a fun little creature feature book. Uh... <laughs> The characters are all assholes, but again, on this podcast, the author said, reality show contestants are assholes, and so the people in this book are assholes. That's how they are. I don't watch reality TV. I've never watched Survivor uh, or any of those types of shows. Not saying that's good or bad. Not judging anyone for watching them. Just saying it's not my bag. Don't watch them. So I can't say what the people are like. Um, but pretty much everyone in here is an asshole. And I was actually su pleasantly surprised by that, because you kind of expect to have that one character that, that sort of stands out above everybody else. You know, oh, all these other people are assholes, but now here's our main character, and they're better than, than that. And... Everybody, actually, the people are just kind of, they're, they're human. There are some real asshole characters, but some of them are just, you know, they're just human. They have their foibles. They have their quirks. They can be very annoying. Um, and, and, and they actually talk about, the characters in the book talk about the fact, they don't say assholes, they say dick. They, they're like, we're all dicks. Some are more dick than others, but we're all dicks. We're all contestants on a reality show. We're dicks. Um... And it works. And like I said, I was surprised that there wasn't the one standout, non-asshole, non-dick character. Uh, there are a couple that come close, but even they can be rather dickish. Uh, so anyway, this plane crashes on the island. Uh, everybody parachutes out. They don't know that the plane crash is part of the show. Um, and they're, you know, doing your typical survivory type stuff. One of them sort of becomes the self-appointed leader, let's build shelters, let's do this, let's do that, signal fire, etc., etc. People are going off and doing things that need to be done, and we are getting, uh, since we're the, the viewers, as it were, <laughs> although I don't think 
any of the killer koalas are being televised, but um, we get to see people getting picked off by these killer animals. And some other things go on. Again, there's that guy from the studio. So, um, typical, fun, creature feature thing. Uh, and if you watched my review for the Rue, uh, turns out I read these books in the right order. The Rue had a glossary of some uh, Australian slang, and so I read that first. <laughs> Uh, there were a couple things in here that I understood because I already knew the slang. There's not a lot, I don't think, a lot of Australian slang in here. Just a few cases. Uh, the one in particular that I would not have known what the hell it was if I hadn't read the Rue and that glossary first was Chook, which is chicken, apparently. Uh, so, knew what it meant in the Rue because I read the glossary before I read the book. But someone mentions Chook in here... And I would not have known what the hell that was if I hadn't read the Rue first. So if you're going to read both of these, read the Rue first. Um, but this is just, it's, it's a fun, gory creature feature. Definitely the kind of thing I can see as a sci-fi channel original. I always seem to come back to that for this sort of thing. Um, it's, it's well written. It's very fast paced. I think the entire story just takes place... Uh, in a day, in less than 24 hours, it's, it's very fast. Um, may, maybe a little longer than 24 hours, because I think maybe at the beginning they, they sleep one night. Yeah, they do, they sleep a night, so maybe 36 hours. But, but once things really start happening, it's, it's probably a 12-hour period, if that. Um, so very fast-paced, very gory. Characters are fun for people that are all a bunch of dicks. Um, and I gave it on Goodreads, I gave it three out of five stars. It's 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 about that level. It wasn't it didn't blow me away like the Rue did, and I'm not comparing the two. You know, this I'm reviewing this as its own thing. Uh, and if you haven't watched my Rue review, go watch that to see what I thought of that book. Um, I keep pointing over there because it's sitting right over there because I just recorded that review. Um, but just on its own, it's about a three out of five. Uh, it, it's like I said, I like the pace. I like the characters well enough for what they are, which is a bunch of dicks. I like the creatures. I definitely like the kills and the gore. Um, but it's, I don't think it goes much deeper than that. It's and and I and I don't think it's meant to this this rewind or die series as I understand it is supposed to be sort of a throwback to those old um, the the movies that you would see at the video store if anybody who watches these videos is uh, is old enough to remember when you could go to a store and rent VHS tapes uh, and you'd see these crazy covers on these movies and you'd have to pick it up to watch these low budget horror movies. That were just fantastic and cheesy. Uh, and that's, I believe that's what the whole Rewind or Die book series is supposed to emulate. I've already purchased another one. Uh, there was another guest on Ghoulish. I've been listening to a lot of the Ghoulish podcast because I absolutely love it. Um, so I bought another Rewind or Die and I think I'm going to get the whole series. I mean, I am going to get, the, I shouldn't even say I think. Eventually, I'm going to get the whole series. Um, I may do what I did with my uh, Richard Stark Parker books, which was, uh, you know, this is supposed to be a re review for Soul Survivor. I don't know why I'm talking about this, but uh, Parker books by uh, Richard Stark. Every time I ordered from Amazon, I would order the next Richard Stark Parker book. And I think that's what I'm going to do now uh, until I have all of the Rewind or Die books is every time I order from Amazon, I'm just going to put the next one down. Um, even though I have number six, this is number six. The one I just got is number eight. But I'll start with one. I'm not going to buy two copies of six and eight. You know what I'm saying. But anyway, uh, as Soul Survivor, it's a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, three out of five. The On Goodreads, if you ever look, three is, I liked it. Um, I kind of wish 
they had a 10 star system i understand the five star system 10 would be nice so you could get a little more nuance or it'd be nice if you could get half stars um for a little bit more nuance uh but it's i think one is didn't like it or something two is it was okay I believe is how they put it three is i liked it four is really liked it and five is it was great or something um, so, yeah, I mean, 3 out of 5 is not a bad rating. I liked it. It was fun. Uh, another one that I read in one day, started it at lunch at work, and knew that as soon as I got home from work, I was going to finish it, because it was just, I was having a lot of fun. Plus, it's really hot out, and I just want to sit down in front of a fan and read a fun book. So, um, yeah, that's Soul Survivor by Jack, Z Zachary Ashford, excuse me. Um, fun cover, seems like an interesting series, this Rewind or Die, by the way, none of the books are related to each other, they're all completely their own entities, it's just, there's a theme, the theme of B-movie, fun, kind of horror, um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there as far as this is concerned, um, Soul Survivor, Zachary Ashford, that's all I've got. So if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please leave them in the comments below. Let's all be polite in there and uh, have a nice conversation about, about horror and killer koala bears and creature features. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and that's it. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith. And until next time, read more books.